car and the little group of beggars that was forming at the edge, the group of boys that were selling things, the pigs in the gutter. And I, I don't know which is sustainable. I don't think either of those words is worth sustaining. So you talk about sustaining, so sustaining what? And it seems to me that that, uh, um, some of the basic philosophical questions, because sustaining, everybody's sustaining themselves and their practice and what their clients want, but there is a larger need for a larger vision. Um, and I think that, that part of this desire to have a, a co-conspirators, then you have a conspiracy. And so that conspiracy of defin defining what we want to sustain. Because it's obvious that we can't sustain everything that people think we could sustain. It's obviously we can't sustain the airports, the airplanes, all this thing that we're, the infrastructure we're relying on depends on a resource base that doesn't exist. And, and we're, we're, we're all um, accepting it and moving in it and accepting what it offers us, but actually there's a moment when it is no longer sustainable. So what, what is sustainable in the current situation? And how can that be? And what, what you want to push away? So there's a, a, a definition, a sort of a redefinition of the ideology that I think has to be kept working on. Because previous thinking, this important thing that Einstein is saying, that the way we have thought doesn't get us to a new way of thinking. So that questioning everything um, and beginning to look at completely wild. So I was thinking that we, we have these divisions of urban, suburban, country thing. These may not hold. The, the reality is that mega cities in Africa and in, in South America are just reaching out and gobbling up countryside. I mean, that what's happening is while we're planning, and making a few things that something else out there is happening. And what's happening is immensely destructive and is happening by people in need. And are we offering? Because to me, the, the thing about architecture is that it is a vocation that moves toward creating the space within which decisions will be made, within which education will take place, within which all the activities, the commercial activities, all the activities are within these spaces that so were responsible for the feeling of the space, for the uh, mood of the space. And so my work is just a drop in the bucket in the countryside. So I'll show you what, what I've done, been doing. It's 